Good morning. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> it's 8.50 and our boarding group for risers isn't, just got called. Surprise! We have to go and Hollywood it's like Studios morning. four degrees out. He's ready to join the resistance. We're at Black Spire to enlist him. Alright, we're at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Sarah got uh, boarding group 14 this morning. It's funny we couldn't get boarding groups when we're staying on property. But when we're 20 miles away in Winter Park, in bed with our baby, we got boarding group. And before we even left the house, they started calling it. We left before the park opened. But we got in, we actually did baby swaps, so that'll be interesting. I don't have to wait in the line when Sarah's done. I grabbed a coffee from Black Spire Outpost. I actually left my phone and we were so like quick to get out because this wasn't planned and we have a really busy day of preparing for Sarah's mom to arrive that I left my phone. So we have a juncture point that we're going to be waiting, meeting at. So I told Sarah meet uh, me there. I'll just periodically walk by it and check. And then I think she's going to take James to baby care when we swap so that I know where to meet her. So now I'm just kind of strolling studios and I have to find someone to stop and drink my coffee because I can't stroll and drink it right now. It's cold, but it's great. And it's probably not like 45, but there's a cool breeze, but we have like James crazy bundled up, blankets, layers and layers and layers. He's got his milk snob over him. Um, he's actually asleep right now, fingers crossed. He stays asleep. I just spilled coffee on his milk snob on a white square, so that's great. I need to stop vlogging. Incoming transmission from Ray. Is everyone assembled? Good. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. May the Force be with us. So in game theory, this is called the Infinite Game. Where? In the Infinite Game, Peter always wins against James. He's snoozing right now. You stop moving, he starts to rustle and wake. So you give him the perception that for infinity, this bugaboo is just gonna keep strolling, keep moving. So that's what we're gonna do. Infinite Game. Hey, what do you got? all Disney safety precautions during COVID. One that is just like really is like culture changing is not being able to stroll and drink a beer or water or coffee or juice. But just there, little private dining area. Nobody's there because it's so early. Kept the infinite game going and was able to drink my coffee away from everybody. Now I'm gonna go check and see if Sarah. The ride is like 20 minutes and when you do the boarding group you usually wait like 
anywhere from 15 to 30 before you get on the ride, which is the part that I won't have to do next time. Um, so I'm just gonna go see. I don't think it's been long enough, but we'll see. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! <laughs> If Sarah and I ever converted to like, or started a new YouTube that was like Disney historian, which I would totally love to do, maybe I will start that one day. This would be a very sad but loving section that this is the last piece of old Hollywood Studios and I don't feel like I have the right to call it because I never came to it, but MGM Studios. Grand Lofts, here's our rendezvous point. She's not there, luckily. I was nervous that I'd find her like sitting here for like hours, like the ride shut down or the queue sped up and she's been worried sick, but she's not here. So we're gonna go walk around. The gravelly ground in Galaxy's Edge, I think lulls him to sleep, but I'm also nervous and it jostles him awake. So, yeah, no problem walking around this theme park. It's probably one of my favorite things to do and a lifelong dream to walk around, do some baby swap. Thumbnail. Just joking, this might not be a thumbnail. Do you think I could have an entire vlog of just me walking around this park with James? I really wish It's a Wonderful Holiday Shop was open. It's a wonderful shop. Parkside Antiques, favorite, one of the favorite stores in Hollywood Studios. And P I thought Pizza Rizzo's was open because it has the mobile order stand outside of it. I legitimately was about to order. Those are my favorite pizzas, they're not the best pizza at all, but they're just like, you know like elementary school pizza, how you like yearn for that? Because it was cool and it was awesome. But in reality, it was not good pizza. That's Pizza Rizzo's. It's the old round pizzas that used to be everywhere. I would buy one right now if it was open. It's only open like sporadically because who's coming over here right now? Guess what? Did you go on it or did it break down? I went on it. Did you love it? Yeah. Can I go on it now? So yeah. He's snoozing. Good. I have bad news. What? I spilled coffee on the snow. Oh no! It's okay. Um, so you don't even have to like wait in the full line. You just no, I just, through. I get to go to some merger point. It's almost like a yeah. fast pass. So yeah. Just baby swap. Yeah. Cause baby and swapping. It was so good. I kind of have a tummy ache though. Oh gosh. Now it's time for me to go. I'm interested to see what hap what I miss in the queue doing baby swap because they don't have fast pass for this yet. Like I think it's built in to use it. I think it's gonna be a long time before they start using fast pass on this ride because of the demand. But I'm wondering what part of the queue is gonna get chopped off by me doing baby swap. So excited. Here we go. So that's the normal queue. This is the other queue, the rider swap queue. Interesting, interesting. I'm so excited. It hasn't hit yet that we're going on it. Ooh, look at the ruins. Ooh, and I don't know how they're doing social distancing on the ride. So, like, at least when the park first opened, if you did this, like, you were by yourself. Ah, I'm kind of nervous. It's like HHN almost, Halloween or Star Wars edition. Okay, this is kind of creepy. This is not okay. This is not. Okay. So I jumped right into this room. So I have to say, the social distancing throughout the queue, as well as the, the ride, because it is a really interactive queue, was done very well. And I think more importantly, the people around me listened very well. So it was a very enjoyable experience overall. Honestly, them you know, being the first order and barking orders actually probably works to the social distance like benefit. It is more accurate um, than like a cast member telling you to do something. I actually got yelled at because I like started to move forward and she was like, where do you think you're going? So it was, it was a good, good experience. Haven't been on that in, I think a year. Yeah, last December was my last time on it. So. That was awesome. I'm so happy we got to do it. So you guys know this is our favorite Disney park at Christmas. We've only been able to make it here twice. 
because of park passes and work restrictions. So just strolling around with James, I am just so grateful we were able to make this little excursion work. We have a busy day. My mom arrives today. I don't know if we'll be able to make it back here before the decorations are gone. And so just being able to come in and see it one last time, it was so worth it. Guys, I just was so upset. I was bringing Mr. Sleepy James over on that corner to show him George Bailey's shipping crate and it wasn't there. But then I saw that there were more boxes over here and I found it, oh my gosh. George Bailey, 320 Sycamore, Bedford Falls from Rainwright Enterprises, New York, New York, which is Sam's company. I was bringing, I was like, I have to show James this and it wasn't there and my heart sunk. But I'm so happy it's still here. This shipping container is from Casablanca. And the others don't. I can't read if they have any names on them. But oh my gosh, my heart. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base and I will take it from you. Why are you going up? Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. <laughs> Way to go, R. I I think that needs to, you know, it's just an engineering feat. It's just show entertainment to an unbelievable proportion, and I love it. So good. Enjoy it. I love it. Ready to go? Yep, let's hit it. Is he still smoothing? Yep. Good. I saw Goofy. Oh gosh. Hi, Evers. Did you see Evers? Evers was so happy to see you too. <gasps> he was smiling oh. so big. Oh, and he saw Evie. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi, happy kid. Hi, happy pup. <laughs> okay, it's cold today, so James had to put his hat on. And I just learned of a feature on YouTube called YouTube Giving. And it's where you can link your videos to fundraisers. And you can have a donate button right on your video. Um, we need that. And I looked into it because our friend John LaForge was doing an awesome one um, for you know Feeding America. And it's like I, I get to some point, but I also don't get these like, on YouTube features, how there's like subscription number limitations. I get there's like a system wide need for some of it and everything, but we don't push for subscribers. We're not like, please subscribe. We want to hit like a million subscribers by tomorrow. But it makes me want to do that right now because we're at 6,000 subscribers and we need to get to 10 to enable that feature. Now, YouTube did say that there are some users outside of these requirements that have it and they're hoping to expand it. So I did send an, an email to YouTube being like, hey, we've been part of the platform for this many years, this is what we do, this is what we're doing, this is what we're trying to do, this is how it's been negatively affected because of COVID, because ACS is over $200 million short on their fundraising goals. So I was like, could you please, 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 like legitimately consider enabling this feature on our YouTube? I just don't know if that's gonna go on fallen ears, especially this week with a lot of corporate offices being closed. Um, but we need a fundraise for American Cancer Society, right? We have Phil on while Sarah edits. I'm getting a few things ready for Sarah's mom's arrival. And look what just, the magic that just happened. She just walked in and got cozy and laid next to that pillow. Now she's cleaning her foot, but that's so adorable. 
I forgot to show you the other day a cool package I got in the mail. It was a, a belated birthday gift because it was like a specialty order thing from my brother and sister-in-law, Jenna and Bill, going across a Chicago theme here. Look at this cool pillow. Blueprint of the CTA trains. Really cool. And then a bandana for me to run, wear, potentially when I'm running the Chicago Marathon next year. Classic bandana look, but if you look closely, color scheme is the Chicago flag, and in there is the Chicago flag. Jenna is uh, one of my fellow Chicago historian and city love enthusiasts, so very fitting that they got me that for my birthday, so thank you so much. All right, T-minus two hours and six minutes till I leave to go pick up Sarah's mom. She's getting on her flight now. She had a connecting flight. And we're heading up Publix for the beginning of of grocery shopping. I think we're gonna plan out some meals with Sue and then come back, especially because she wants some pub subs. Well, 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 look at the party I come home to. <laughs> I didn't buy too many extra things. Too many? I didn't buy too many. He's dancing? Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. She just landed. She landed a few minutes ago, actually, so I'm running kind of behind since she landed early, but kind of on time from when I wanted to be here. But, ooh, then we're gonna grab some food on the way home, and then she's gonna meet James. Daddy and Grandma are almost here. We're having a dance party again. He loves it. I love it too. to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. Warren Buffett. Grandma is here. Our hearts are full. James has been like out. He actually didn't sleep very well today. Yeah. But we're like he's at peace with his grandma here. I also don't want to wake him up because we didn't do our nighttime routine of yeah. nursing him just and giving him the warm out. bottle. He just passed out. So we just moved him from the living room to the bassinet. So yeah. this is going to be a quiet sign off. We just talked and talked and talked. I know we'll vlog more. We watched a bunch of film. Yeah. Tomorrow we're watching. We have them a list two, of movies. Them two are in chit chatters. I'm over here like. Yeah, you were falling like. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.